Okay, so in today's video, I want to focus a little bit more on software, specifically as it relates to the latest OS upgrade on some of, you know, Samsung devices. And of course, I'm talking about One UI 4. Let's go ahead and jump in. Now, in light of the newest or, you know, the recently released Samsung Galaxy tablets, I figure I'll go ahead and share what my experience has been like using, you know, a tablet with One UI 4, specifically my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus with One UI 4, along with some of the tips and tricks that I've learned over the past couple of months. Now, first things first, now I have to say that I have used and, you know, continue to use a number of devices by a number of manufacturers. And I have to say that over the years, One UI has evolved to become something just truly amazing. And it's definitely part of my top two user interface. So as you can tell, I am, you know, pretty intimately familiar with what it has to offer, although I was hoping for a little bit more, you know, from One UI 4. There are many changes, you know, implemented along with new features that make the upgrade feel just a little bit more tangible. Like even to someone like myself, who's been a fan of One UI for a while, I could definitely feel the difference. A very simple yet necessary change that took place here is the fact that pop-up windows now have this standard size that will remind you of the size of, you know, kind of like your phone display or anything around that size. And of course, if you are familiar with the previous One UI versions, then you know that pop-up windows came in just different shapes and sizes, right? You can play with them, but they always came in different sizes. No standard size, like the display of a phone. So with this one standard size, you could play around with it and move it around. And then when you close it, when you go back in, you will find it in the same size and location on your display where you last left it during your last use. Another thing you can do here is add a navigation bar at the top of the pop-up here. So you see the pop-up window here, you can just add a navigation bar, which of course will offer you a few options that you can use on the menu, such as, you know, going full screen or closing or minimizing and so forth. So it's a very subtle change, but very usable feature to have. So now let's talk wallpaper real quick, right? So now you can choose a theme, which as you know, will come with a set, you know, of colors that are proper to that theme. But with the upgrade, it makes it so that those colors are then broken down into kind of a palette or a series of colors from which you can choose one or more that you like and apply to your apps. Same deal as what we saw with the Pixel 6 Pro. And that's just another very, very cool feature to have. Now let's go ahead and jump onto the next one here. Personally, as a power user, I tend to just grab accessories. Let's say if I want to use my Galaxy Tab S7 you know, plus or the iPad Pro and so forth. What I tend to do here is I would use a mouse and a keyboard as much as I can, you know, whenever possible, just so that I can be as productive as possible. Now, what One UI 4 allows you to do is to customize some of the uses of your accessories to help boost your productivity in a few different ways, right? Now, a quick example is how I customize my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus here to, when connected to a mouse, make it so that when I run the mouse all the way to one corner of the display, or you know left corner the right corner the top left whatever the case may be an action would take place and it would differ depending on what corner I move the mouse to so with this mouse action what you do is you can toggle it and you know customize it to your liking choose the feature that you want to you know the action that you would like to happen when you move the mouse to one or to, well to any of the given corners so you can have it so one of the corners just takes you to the main menu or bring up you know like the windows or go to like the recent windows and so forth just by moving the cursor to one of the corners. And it's pretty useful, right? Especially if you are used to using those features. Now, I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself here. I should have started with kind of just like the overall experience or more like a first glance experience. Now, let's go ahead and just briefly talk about the very first set of things that I noticed is that things just felt very, very smooth here, right? And you know, this I kind of expected simply because when I got a taste of how smooth my Pixel 6 Pro is or was, when when I first got it, you know, just navigating, it was crazy, like buttery smooth. I kind of anticipated that we'll be getting the same thing once we upgraded to One UI 4 here. Now, One UI in general has been pretty clean, right? Like the, the previous version have always kind of been pretty clean. And this newer version sitting on, you know, on top of Android 12 offers just 
excellent user experience so far. So far, I absolutely love it. Now, the reason I'm saying it's so smooth is because when you're navigating or interacting with different windows, there, you know, there's this just very seamless transition in between windows and that just feels even smoother than prior. Things seem to be responsive in a very smooth way and there is no noticeable lag. Now, generally people will go for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 or the S7 Plus for a number of reasons, but mainly because it can handle productivity very very well you know so that you could do a bunch of things at the same time that with one ui 4 switching between windows or doing a bunch of things at the same time it, it just something that feels very continuous it's like a continuous movement and it just keeps feeling like a very clean and uh, it offers you these very clear transition and it's simply more responsive. Because with One UI 3, it would switch as you want, but there is a fraction of a second when, you know, it kind of quickly readjusts and just doesn't appear as smooth as you, what you see here. So this way is definitely nicer when working with three different windows, a little like I showed you last time when working on One UI 3 or when multitasking, I noticed, for example, that this upgraded version of the software, when I resize the window, there's an even lesser feel of a latency in the interaction itself. You drag it over and it smoothly goes over it and you drag it back and it smoothly, you know, adjusts as you want. So however I want it to be, meaning if I don't resize the windows and I want to switch sides, for example, it will stay the same, right? I will keep the same aspect ratio that you assigned to them at the beginning or discover many other things that you will like about this. But anyway, I'm certainly hoping that this was informative. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will catch you in the comment section, share the video if you know anyone who'll be interested. I will also catch you in the next video. And of course, up until that next video, as always, stay safe out there.